All right, everybody, hot on the heels of discovering that Tana here, the black and white quarter horse on the left, is in fact a certified unicorn. <laughs> it's exciting, exciting times. Um, this clip here I did put up um, with a few other clips to go with it. Not too long ago, I'll link to this video uh, in the description, but I wanted to review it. I wanted to give a little narration. And this is Ohana. Ohana has come charging in. She's a, she's a young six-year-old Percheron. The other horse is Rue. Um, these, these, these guys are all under 10. And uh, the pattern is, uh, oh, there's Luke. Luke's come in and Ohana has told him to go. He's come back. But the pattern here is that Ohana's trying to stop Tana from hanging around with Rue, maybe, or at least getting her to hang around with her. And uh, there were a lot of comments for this video because my, uh, the title of the video is how to make a bestest friend ever as a horse. And there's a lot of, uh, uh, situations like these that happen where uh, usually it's it's a, a gelding and a mare, but sometimes it's mare and mare or gelding and gelding, and and uh, they're trying to, to get a friend or keep a friend, which is essentially what Tana does with Rue. If Rue were to leave, she'd go get him and bring him back to the corner. And uh, so she, she's able to send him an awful lot. <laughs> There's Rue. And uh, so here she is, she's come back, she's going to tell him where to go, but Ohana's still on it. She sends Rue, she's a little bit higher. The one thing that I really think is important to pay attention to as we watch this, and I encourage you to watch it again, maybe even mute me, but watch the ears a lot. Um, I think somebody had comment, commented something along the lines that uh, Ohana wasn't, wasn't being nice, uh, you know, and we can see here that every time Tana comes up to the top, the other horses here, Roni tells her where to go. She goes off to the other side. Peggy, the Palomino tells her where to go. Lena, the Oldenburg draft here, brown and white. She tells her where to go. She leaves and Ohana goes to go get her. She says, you should just come and hang out up here. So she cuts her off and cuts her off, but really, really pay attention to the ears. We can tell a horse is unhappy. We hear about it a lot. <laughs> we hear about it a lot, about horses, how they pin their ears. And really, it just means they put their ears back and, and uh, um, you know, give, give the impression and every intent that they're unhappy and they may think about attacking. You can see it every time she goes to the top. And my point was that not once does Ohana pin her ears. And you watch, her ears are always forward. At least one of them is, maybe two, at Tana. She says, let's communicate, let's talk. And here we go. Here's another chase. Same thing. Ears for Rue, no ears for Tana. And when we apply this to our own horsemanship, and, and when we're, we're hanging around with horses, and they're hanging around with us and they're communicating. You know, are we giving the right ears? Are we reading the correct ears? I've had people sometimes say that their horse is pinning their ears and, and they're not. They're, I don't think they are. There's, there's Lena. She's going to come, but Ohana blocks it. Tana leaves. She figures she'll go back to Rue. Ohana comes in, sends her on, but... She's got ears forward. She'd like to check in. She'd like to rub noses as they, as they go. And another thing that's really interesting about this video, and again, I encourage you to watch it again, is the distance between the two horses is generally about six to eight feet. It doesn't change throughout most of this video. And Ohana's always checking in. It's like, hey, you want to chat? Want to chat yet? Tana's not quite interested. She tries to leave. Ohana cuts her off. And this is what we can do 
in in some cases, we can get horses to check in with us. And in the end, it wasn't too long, maybe five minutes, ten minutes later, I took another clip, and there they were cruising along together. And the way it's done, horse to horse, is there's some drive, there's some cutting, and there's some requests to check in and talk. I think it's a good pattern, and we can evolve as humans, but it does seem to work for them, and I think we can take some hints from that. So that's it for now.